Tony D and Little Jones asleep on the couch, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Evil West, a vampire hunter uh, game that looks pretty badass. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pioneers books 1 through 10. Available at uh, Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. In The Pioneers. They hunt deer, which are really devils. In uh, Evil West, you're hunting vampires. So it's a vampire conspiracy in the Old West. And uh, it's got lots of cool side characters, lots of cool weapons, uh, lots of cool graphics. And uh, basically, you're part of some institute run by your dad, but I think the vampires uh, kill everybody, and then you have to rebuild it. This dude looks like uh, Kurt Russell. I need a little bit from uh, from uh, 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 the Hateful Eight. So uh, this looks pretty badass, fighting vampires and monsters with uh, old Wild Westy. It's it's a little steampunky, you know. It's got some advanced weapons like lightning guns and like a it's almost like a gauntlet with lightning and Wolverine claws. And these are some of the monsters you're killing. So it looks pretty cool. I would totally play this game. Absolutely. I like the graphics. They're nice and clear. Um, they're, you know, it, it looks very cool to me. It doesn't seem very strategy based. seems very story based. But I, I'm sure there's some strategy involved. You got like a weapons tree and a skill tree. I think it's almost a little too much, a little overblown, that kind of stuff. But the cinematics look cool. Everything looks cool with it. Uh, it's called The Evil West. November 22nd pre-order now. I would totally play it. I mean, a three-act breakdown of the story. And you even get to fight them in the day. So I guess they're not all vampires. Um, the first act will be establishing the character. Where, where all these vampires came from. How they changed the Wild West. Uh, there's a, there was a role-playing game. What the hell was it called? I want to say Shadowlands. Is that the name of the game I'm thinking of? There's a Wild West game where it was like, it was an alternate history of the United States. There was still Civil War and some event happened. It was kind of like a combination of Call of Cthulhu and Boot Hill. This one, this video game looks similar to that, except it has more of a focus on vampires and adjacent monsters, let's say. Um, so the institute that he's a part of, that his father runs, is, kill, is destroyed, and uh, maybe his father's killed too. He has to rebuild the institute. They kind of gave it away in the description about halfway through, sort of subtly. Not to, they didn't do it overtly, but um, so that's. And then the game itself is really all second act, right? It's all second act, like rebuilding the institute. And then the last thing you do in this game is the third act. The main monster or vampire or whatever. You kill him and then, you know, the Institute is uh, refurbished and you're the head of it. And then maybe there's a, maybe there's a point, you know, uh, of Evil West Part 2, you know. So, uh, yeah, I would totally play this. It's got monsters. It's got cool weapons. It reminds me a little bit of um, the skill tree and the weapons remind me a little bit of uh, Dead Island. Um, even though it's not zombies, but it's, it's similar. I mean, with vampires, at least you know they should be running around. The graphics just look amazing. But I say that about everything because I'm an old school guy. I remember little squares and, and beeping. <laughs> I mean, now the cinematics and the... And the actual game are almost the same, really. There's there's such fluidity between the two. It's it's really astounding to me. So I think it looks decent. I would play this game. Um, so check it out November 2nd. That's all I can say. I like it. What do you want me to say? I love Wild West stuff. You can't go wrong with a good Wild West story, especially if you throw some vampires in it. All right, that's it for me, Tony D., and Little Jones somewhere in the house. Thanks for tuning in on this Halloween. Uh, thanks for coming out to the live stream. Um, next signing is November 5th at the uh, Morris... I believe it's uh, Morristown or Mount Laurel. I forget. Oh, God. I should have looked this up ahead of time. Wait a minute. I got it right here. 
It is Morristown Library, yes. From 11 to 2 at Author's Picnic on November 5th. You can go to the link in my uh, uh, on my website. And we'll see you next time.